Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR PSP. This is going to be race 36 of 36. We're going to Homestead Miami Speedway for the Ford 400. This is the last race of the season, so let's make it. You have reached the last spin in your season. Do you wish to race it or forfeit and finish in last place? That is the stupidest freaking question the game can ask me right now. Why would I want to skip the last race? That just ruins everything. Okay, lots of humor, you stupid game. Fine. But, uh, let's, let's make this last race last. It's going to be the last race. We got to, you know, like, as time lasts. Whatever. Look at that. Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, and Kyle Busch. I have to start last place because of the Craftsman Truck Series stuff. Oh my god, Ryan Vickers, what the hell? What happened? What is this crap? Why does Ryan Vickers suck all of a sudden? He still has an awesome car. <laughs> okay, that's one position worse than Texas. That's 29th. What is with Brian Vickers? I thought he was a little better than that. I mean, it's like, it doesn't matter anymore. He still drives for me. The TV's volume is a little high. I'll put that on four because five was a little high last time, but whatever. Jesus, Brian Vickers, what the hell is wrong with you? Why do you, like, it's like he gave up or something. I mean, you don't need to give up. You can still drive and keep your place in points so I get money. Because I own this team and stuff. Well, whatever. No qualifying or anything. And as you may have noticed now, we are driving the classic Goodyear throw-up paint scheme. The original one I used to start the season with. Well, uh, here we go. Homestead Miami Speedway for the Ford 400 5... What? Ford 400. Jesus, JC1424, you suck at stuff. Speech. Oh god, that guy. Everybody stinks. Oh my gosh, the contrast on this TV is freaking dark. Okay, I don't know, maybe it was the shadow of the track. Man, I have not seen myself driving this painting in a long time, though. This is the, uh, the black car with the blue and the white in the hood and whatever. Oh god, they enter the turn really slow. I slam into somebody and it says new ally on the side of the screen. That's kind of weird. Let's drive good. Let's focus on this race and drive good the last race of the season. Let's focus on it. Gosh, it's like Brian Vickers is just good whenever he wants to be. All of a sudden, the end of the season. I'm not in the chase, so I don't want to be good. I'm hitting cars! I cannot stop hitting cars. We're gonna stop hitting cars. Let's work with Brian Vickers. Even though he freaking sucks at everything all of a sudden, I guess. I don't know what the hell is going on. Why he sucks at everything. You got your other three uh, teammates starting up front, I mean, you qualify for the race and you qualify, like, way back in the second half of the field. Oh, give me some room. Freaking Jeff Green. Oh my gosh, I don't like this guy right now. Uh, what is... I don't like anybody right now. <laughs> I hate everybody. They're all stupid. It's annoying. I don't know where to go. This is not the first time on my channel we're going to Homestead. It's actually the second, and the third will be NASCAR Thunder 2004. But the first time was NASCAR PSP Race Now episode with Martin Trix Jr. in the Bass Pro Shops car. I guess we're helping Brian Vickers right now. He is 21st, I'm 22nd, and go! Brian Vickers, freaking go! Oh my god, I am not on the gas and I am passing you. That is stupid. Come on, Brian Vickers. You need to be more existent to awesomeness. Jeez. I don't know what I just said. Whatever. Yeah. We'll stick with that. Brian Vickers, be more existent to awesomeness. What is wrong with you? Why do you have to suck so much? This is not the time for sucking. This is the time for going. <laughs> Go. Oh my god. Your car is freaking badass, just like mine, because I pay for it to be badass, and you are driving it like a loser. Stop that. You know, there are Brian Vickers fans out there, and you suck. I don't know what this is. Like, I keep on letting off the gas because he's 
extremely slow in front of me. Look at this crap! I let off the gas and I slam into him! I'll wait for you, dumbass. You have, we have Brian Vickers fans out in this world and you are making a fool of yourself, Brian Vickers. So, stop doing that. It doesn't even matter that we're on easy difficulty like usual. We're on the same difficulty as usual and all of a sudden you suck at everything. Okay, Homestead Miami, final episode of the NASCAR PSP season. Career mode, whatever, and Brian Vickers is like the main topic. His suckiness is just the freaking main topic of the episode. Brian Vickers is dick. Get good. And in a few minutes, you'll find out what else you gotta get because we also are gonna have a song in this video too. And get something else, not just good. You'll find out what you're gonna get. It's the name of the album. You're gonna get something. It's the name of the album. I'm not gonna tell you what the name of the album is though. I don't wanna pass Brian Vickers. I wanna push Brian Vickers, but I can't push Brian Vickers because he is not in front of me. You need to be in front of me, Mr. Vickers. Man, you're not even, you don't even deserve Mr. You don't even deserve the title, Mr. Because we cannot respect your suckiness. It's just you. Now, if you're wondering if I drank coffee this morning just like I did last time and got a bunch of sleep, well, the answer is no. I did not get much sleep last night trying to edit the two videos that I was supposed to upload today, or technically it would be yesterday, and there was a taking forever to get up. Oh my god, what the hell, Casey Kane? What the hell was that? <laughs> Who was that? It was a white car that looked like a fantasy car. I don't know, I'll go back on that. I'll put it right below the video. It'll tell you what driver it was. Um, it'll tell you what driver that was right here. It's underneath the screen. If you can't see it, you're freaking blind. I do that all the time. Stupid last video, I went to Phoenix and, oh my gosh, I called two drivers the wrong names because of, you know, they have different drivers, different cars every season. And I get my ears confused. Okay, we're about to crack the top 10 with Brian Vickers. How the hell do we manage to do that? Is that the car? Is that the car that got spun by Casey Kane? What the hell, Brian Vickers? What was that? Why did you jump to the top of the track? We're not the top of the track. He just jumped up. We are, Look, we are bump drafting him. Oh my god, we are bump drafting him so hard. It is ridiculous. About to crack the top 10. Actually, Brian Vickers is the top of the, or maybe the bottom. The bottom of the top 10. The top would be first, I guess. And we're about to pass Tony Stewart. You better do that right, I swear. Don't even touch him, Brian Vickers, I swear. I don't care who you are. You touch, you touch my, my man, uh, Tony Stewart, I'll kick your butt. Uh, Brian Vickers, go! I said go, and I wind up getting beside you because you're going so slow, it's possible. Did you see Greg Biffle just now? He uh, got sideways and slid up to the top of the track. I'm trying to help Brian Vickers, and it's like he's, it's like all I'm, I'm not even helping him, I'm like controlling him. I mean, if I wasn't here, he would be in last place. That's how, how much he sucks, in my opinion, right now. And, uh, also forgot to start my timer for the music I was going to put in this video, so I'll just start that now. Yeah. Okay. I'll be honest, I miscalculated the song Fly Away because I had the wrong time in my mind whenever I was timing it with the timer that I have sitting on my laptop, which is just my phone and it's clock app. And um, so I had to put a fade out for the song Fly Away, but it was kind of repetitive in the ending of the song, so I guess that'll, that's okay though. It should be. It's kind of the same thing over and over again at the end of the song. Okay, we're about to get to the lead. Once we do that, um, the uh, music is going to kick in, and trust me, a lot of people are going to know this song. It's a kick-ass song. It's so freaking awesome. I'll tell you what it's called uh, after we... Oh, no. I'll tell you what it, what it is right now. This is Are You Gonna Be My Girl by Jet from the album 
get born. So enjoy. Take my hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. I say you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Four, five, six, come on and get your kicks. Now you don't need the money when you look like that, do you, honey? Big black boots, long brown hair. She's so sweet with her. Gonna be my girl. It's a one, two, three. Take my hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really wanna make you mine. I say you look so fine that I really wanna make you mine. A four, five, six, come on and get your kicks. Now you don't need money with a face like that, do ya? I said, are you gonna be my girl? Okay, that was Are You Gonna Be My Girl by Jet from their album Get Born. The song came out like 10 years ago, approximately, a decade ago. And um, I don't know what's wrong with this like color on my TV screen right now, but it's like in the front stretch, the shadows are extremely dark and I can't see the wall. So I'm like, I, I gotta guess where the wall is. Oh, what? Bull crap! What? Oh, what a caution! And by the way, that's the original mainstream. Oh, really? Well, don't pull the emergency brake then. That's what it looked like he did. It looks like he got the emergency brake and he pulled that thing. Martin Trucks Jr., the guy that I actually raced with whenever I did the Race Now mode. I went to Race Now mode for a Race Now episode and we raced Martin Trex Jr. And then this time he spins his car out. Looks like he did it on purpose. Is it going to end under caution? It shouldn't. Yes, it's not going to end under caution. Great. I'll tell you something this time. The first time I was recording the uh, Phoenix International Raceway uh, race, you know, whenever it was so like it was supposed to be, we we're going to be recording it in career mode. But then the Elgato screwed up. Well, the first time I was recording it, it ended under caution because of the same freaking thing. Somebody just freaking pulled the emergency brake, basically, and they spun out for no reason. 
I mean, I can understand a car like getting a blown tire or something or getting loose, but they never look like that because their tires are always in perfect condition and they don't go into the pits or anything, so it's just nothing really. It basically looks like they pulled the emergency brake or another name for it, handbrake. Hmm. I play Gran Turismo. I know what it's called. I know it can't be called. Whatever. Well, this was a great season. It will be ending in just a few seconds. The NASCAR PSB Career Mode 2010 season will be ending in 3, 2, 1. That's the end of the season. And we ended it in the original, the original Goodyear throw-up uh, Chevrolet, I guess that's what we'll call it. I'll say it again. We call it the Goodyear throw-up Chevrolet because the only sponsor on the car is Goodyear, and it's every single place it could possibly be. Maybe you'll see it whenever we do donuts. Gosh. It's been a long time since I've driven this paint stream. But it, it's nice to be driving it again. I should lean forward so the camera... I should lean forward. <laughs> I said that wrong. I should lean forward so the camera gets it right. Because I don't want to be, like, not in the middle of my camera whenever I'm trying to edit the face cam in. I'm having a hard time doing donuts in this car. A little. Just one more spin around. Hey, I just won the championship, so I, I should be doing quite a bit of donuts. I was not trying to do donuts. I was actually trying to stop just right there. Whatever. Uh, I was just watching, um, uh, maybe a few hours ago, I was watching Into SE Farrar's, uh, well, technically I was finishing up watching Into SE Farrar's race at Dover, that he, uh, he won, um, and he was celebrating, he could not stop doing donuts and burning out and celebrating and stuff. There we go, that's good, fine with me. I almost mistook uh, Ryan Newman's pit stall for mine. Because I kind of figured mine would be a different color because I'm driving a different paint scheme and whatever. And it was. It was blue instead of light, light gray like usual. Well, let's see the highlight reel. Those are some good camera angles right there. I like that. See all the cars. That's not a good camera angle. It can't keep up with anything. I guess that's okay. Oh, uh, Brian Vickers feed me crap. Like, ever since I tried to help him. I helped him get really far up front. Hopefully he kept that position once I got him there. It's ridiculously stupid on Brian Vickers' part. I can actually see my thumbnail for my, um, my, uh, face cam. So I'm going to center myself on the screen. Uh... And that is Real 5, the end of the 2010 season of my NASCAR PSP career mode. End of race 36 of 36. And, uh, we'll see the first reel again. Because we missed that, the menu that was on the screen. And there's Real 2. And, uh, yeah, that's that. Let's see the race results. JC1424, a.k.a. Jared Lewis, the number 114 Goodyear throw-up Chevrolet, classic version, I guess we'll call it, or original, more well, like original, it's only been an entire season, so. We started 43rd, and we finished first, both this race and the championship. We only led six laps because we started last and had to work way up there with freaking Brian Vickers, we'll get to him in a little bit. And uh, Jeff Gordon started on pole and finish second. Very acceptable considering I won the race, so of course you can't finish first and start first if I win. So yeah, Jeff Gordon, number 24, DuPont Chevrolet. Kurt Busch, he started fourth and finished third. That's the number two Miller Lite Dodge. And uh, he led a lap. By the way, Jeff Gordon led three laps. Brian Vickers, the guy that I had to shove to the front of the pack uh, into the top 10. He got a top five. He started 29th, and I can't even see that right now. Oh, okay. He started 29th, 
and finished fourth place. So very acceptable considering I had to push him up there. He kept that top 10 and top five. That's number 25, uh, GMAC Chevrolet. And fifth place, rounding out the top five, is Greg Biffle, who started ninth and yeah, finished fifth. So number 16, National Guard Ford, or National Guard slash Subway Ford. And uh, he led six laps this race. Wait, what? I led six laps. Oh, so that means that Greg Biffle and I both tied for uh, most laps led and both get 10 bonus points. I kind of figured somebody else out there had more than uh, six laps, but no. Jimmy Johnson, my other teammate, he started second and finished sixth. That's not really impressive considering he started second and he could have stayed up there, you know. And we got Michael Waltrip, Tony Stewart, my favorite driver. He started sixth and finished eighth. And uh, Denny Hamlin, and rounding out the top ten is the number 43, Cheerios Dodge, Bobby Labonte. And uh, once again, that is the uh, last time I'm pretty sure we're going to be driving the original Goodyear throw-up Chevrolet. Okay, that was it for the uh, 2010 season of my career mode. And look, everybody else is wearing white clothes, and I'm this one guy wearing blue and white and black. Blue and white and black. I had puberty. Whatever. My voice cracked. There's the trophy. The boring championship trophy. And here is the final... Here, is, here are the final standings of all four series. The number 114, Jared Lewis, a.k.a. JC1424. He uh, wins the championship. I win the championship with... 6,906 points with a 235 point lead over Jimmy Johnson and all three of my teammates uh, that made the chase finish in the top five and then we have my favorite driver rounding out the top five with Tony Stewart right there the Bush series I drive the number 77 do dollar, dollar General car dollar General Chevrolet and I finished first Number 77 with 5,679 points. Craftsman Truck Series. I drive the number 30 Germain truck. And that I finished first with 3,796 points. And in second is Timothy Peters. Then we got Bobby, Hamil Bobby Hamilton Sr., Ron Hornaday. He's one of my favorites. And uh, uh, Whale and Modified. That is not right. My, uh, my number is supposed to be 124 because that's what I drive in the Whale and Modify series. It's supposed to be blue, orange, and white for the Whale and Modify series. Instead, it says 114. I don't know why. But I've got 3,035 points winning the championship. Okay. Silly season. Ha ha ha. Silly season. Retired drivers Michael Waltrip and Kyle Petty. Kyle Petty's retiring. He was pretty famous. Michael Waltrip, he sucked, but he was still pretty famous. But they're gone. They're going to be replaced by P.J. Harris, that's for Michael Waltrip, and Mike Sparks, that's for Kyle Petty. And uh, that's Waltrip, Jasper Racing, and Petty Enterprises. I have four new messages, and we're going to end the video by checking those out. Oh god, the video is almost over, but no, never mind. Oh, I'll just a bunch of contract offers and stuff. Well. That's that. My brother and sister just got home because of how long we had to, you know, record this video and whatever. So, season over.